143 days till the man burns, and today we're talking about vaginas again. Again. Everyone knows about player foot. <laughs> if you don't, I'll do a video on it just for you. But what a lot of people don't know about is player vagina. Or, you know, UTIs and yeast infections. Because they happen a lot at Burning Man. It's something to do with the alkaline in the player dust. It messes with the delicate ecosystem between our legs. It happens. So pre-Burning Man, if you can get your hands on like cranberry pills, probiotics, especially the ones designed for ladies and lady health, then, you know, that's just going to help your body kind of build up some protection against it, hopefully. It doesn't work for everyone. Some people are still going to end up getting hit by it. But, you know, anything you can do, right? Like I always say, I'm not a scientist or a doctor. Like, I don't know if that stuff works, but the people at the health shop seem to think it works. So why not? Even if you take all of the pills, you follow all of the advice anyone gives you, you drink cranberry juice like it was the only liquid on planet Earth, some of you are still going to get hit by something. The best thing you can do is go to the doctor beforehand, explain the situation, you know, tell them it is known, uh, this happens a lot. And hopefully they're going to prescribe you something just in case it happens to you. And, you know, while you're there, ask them for some tips, you know, is there anything you would suggest I do to try and prevent it from happening? Because, you know, prevention is the best thing ever. For yeast infections, there are quite a lot of over-the-counter solutions, so pick one of those up as well and just have it in your medical kit just in case. While you're there, you'll want to keep things nice and clean and fresh. I mean, you can be the cleanest person in the world and still get hit by something like this. It's not like, it's not like if you get it, you're dirty and disgusting or something. You know, it happens to many, many people. But I'd suggest bringing extra knickers with you, especially, you know, like cotton breathable ones. Because think about it, you're, like player dust is going to get on your clothes, it's going to get on your knickers and it's like alkaline. It's just going to be rubbing against your badge all day, like... It's asking for trouble. So lots of people like to bring double the amount they think they'll need and change them twice a day. Obviously, every time you change them, make sure you have a good clean down there as well. Otherwise, it kind of defeats the point a bit. Aside from anything else, changing your knickers and brushing your teeth, it makes you feel amazing when you're at Burning Man. You're like, ah, oh, like a princess out here. Fresh knickers, fresh teeth. Mmm. Obviously you want to store all these somewhere where they're not going to be getting covered in player dust because otherwise that would kind of defeat the point. So, you know, a big Ziploc bag or something is perfect. Keep that in your tent or, you know, somewhere where it's protected as much as you can from the dust if it's possible to protect anything from dust at Burning Man. Even though baby wipes are like the number one choice for keeping things clean down there and I mean we use them on babies' butts so they've got to be good for ours, right? Getting some pH balanced feminine wipes can be good as well because the pH balance is kind of the problem. It's the alkaline in the dust and you want things to be pH balanced down there. If you're planning on going nude while you're at Burning Man, you'll want to bring a towel or something that you can sit on. I mean, it's considered etiquette anyway to do that. You know, don't go rubbing your butt over other people's stuff. But it's also going to mean, you know, if you decide to sit on the floor, you're not going to be sitting directly on player dust. Peeing is very important as well, you know, pee when you need to go, don't, don't hold it for hours and hours just because it's super inconvenient, you know, and if you have any sexual contact with someone then pee afterwards as well because that's a, a really known cause of UTI, so I know it's not very romantic, it kills the mood to be like, yeah, I'm just gonna go pee so I don't get UTI, but seriously, be unromantic, do it, <laughs> look out for number one. So I know I already mentioned cotton panties, but I know that some of you out there are like, I'm not wearing granny knickers to Burning Man, I'm gonna be wearing this sexy G-string I just bought with the, the tassels and the beads and stuff. That's great, you know, go, go for it. <laughs> but be aware that those things are a bit more irritating to vaginas and maybe bring along some cotton panties as well, just to be on the safe side, cause you probably don't wanna be stuck in an uncomfortable G-string the whole time you're at Burning Man. It's also a great kind of nap time option, you know, if you just want to have a sleep then you can put on your, your cotton grannies and have a sleep where everything can breathe. Or, you know, if you're comfortable with it, if you have a tent or something that you're sleeping in, just go bare butt naked and really let everything breathe down there. So that is it guys, you know, sometimes bad things happen to good people and one of those good people might be you. So be prepared for the worst. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions or comments or tips or anything like that, 
let me know in the comments section. And if you're at Burning Man this year, feel free to come and say hi to me if you spot me roaming around. Bye.